We moved to Reno when I was 15 years old. That was a long time ago, that was 25 years ago. We moved down here and we ended up living in this trailer park in South Reno. We actually didn't live in a trailer, we lived in the house that would have been the old manager's office for the trailer park. So we lived in this, you would walk into this house and it was covered in green carpet, you know, like the seventies, but it was like, it smelled like someone's cat had lived in there for 52 years and it just peed all over. It stunk so bad. And it had all these tiny little offshoots where they would have like different meetings and it had the largest living room area on the face of this planet. Like it was like a lunchroom for a living room. This thing was gigantic. And I remember being 15 years old and being in the shower one day and all of a sudden I heard somebody tromping around. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home? Is anyone here? And I was all alone by myself. I had to scream. I was flabbergasted. I had to scream out. I'll be out of the shower in just a second. Finally, I got out of the shower and with my towel, I walked out and met this woman in the living room. And she was so excited because she thought that we were the new managers for the trailer park. We were not. And so her and several other people would come over and ask us for help randomly. And we would help them. Things like, hey, could you come ki fix my kitchen sink? I'm like, I have no idea how to do that. Can you take me to the grocery store? Which I actually did take several people to the grocery store several times once I turned 16 and had my own car. And it was an interesting experience to see how all of these people who lived there, how we could actually help them, even though it wasn't our responsibility and it wasn't what we'd moved there for. And it had, we had no idea that we'd even be put in that situation. But being able to be there was beautiful because we could help all the people around us. And it was neat to make all of these friends that we otherwise never would have made. And we were able to open our doors. Well, lock them <laughs> when we were going to get in the shower, but open them the rest of the time and really let people know and it's beautiful to be able to open your doors and share moments with other people and care about people and accept them and bring them into your life, even if you don't expect them to be there. Those are the beautiful moments that we get to experience.